People like to say that uh, uh, they just need to be more consistent. And I have mm-hmm. a saying here that I'll find in a second that um, the secret to success and successfully get into that termination, the secret to success is not consistency. The secret to success is progression. See, how you get to that maintenance level of six months or beyond, it's not by just being consistent. It's by consistently progressing. Because a person could be consistently doing something wrong. A person could consistently be wasting their time. A person could consistently be going nowhere. But if they are progressing, then they are going in the right direction. And they're Mm. reaching milestones along the way. So it's not that a person needs to be more consistent because they may be ignorant to what, how to progress. Progression is the secret to success, not consistency alone. And that's how you get to terminating uh, a once bad habit by progressing, not just by being consistent alone. I'm trying to think of a, I'm trying to think of a scenario where I have to do some significant changes. And, oh, everyone um, has. Yeah, yeah, everyone we all go through it. I'm trying to think of. Did you have a habit like something that you probably used to eat, drink, smoke um, that you don't I, no I, more? I had several bad habits. Uh, I, I was a I was a walking bad habit. What <laughs> I tell you, I tell you what I'm working on now. I'm working on um. That's a hold on, hold on. Before you say that, that's a great thing that you're working on something right now. But go ahead. I'm working on um. Trying to stop using profanity. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Well, well, yeah, well let's yeah. try it together. Let's yeah, try. I mean, let's try that. No, no, we not gonna try. Right. It. Well, my, well, my sister say, man, stop trying to start doing. We not gonna, we not gonna try it, uh, brother. I have, I have overcome many uh, bad habits, like it's, like it's nothing. I'm in the practice of overcoming bad habits, brother. That cussing. Let's do it together. Hey. Hey, listen, nobody said it wasn't gonna be easy. If it was easy, everybody'd be doing it. But I've hey, been, been easy. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but, you know what? Man, listen, I I, I try. Oh, I'm trying. The one that I the not to cut you off my bad, the one that I'm looking for is up on the wall in my gym. The one that says the secret to success is not consistency, it is progression. But go ahead. It's up on my wall in the gym. Yeah. What I was saying. I forgot what I was saying. You were saying that you are, no, no, no. You were saying that, I ain't gonna let you forget. You were saying that one of the bad habits that you're working on right now is cussing. Yeah. Yeah. So what I do is, um, I still be cursing people out. I ain't gonna lie. I do. I'll be trying. I'll be trying. Um, yeah, this is, it's going to be difficult. The problem is I've been doing it for so long that it's, it's, sometimes I'll be cursing people. I don't even know I'm cursing. One day I said to, I said to my uncle, I was like, nigga, you you uh, said something and he was and um my cousin was like why you call him a nigga I said I didn't <laughs> <laughs> he he yeah. said man you yeah. do it so he said look you said so much you didn't even realize you saying it man I'm like damn my bad man I'm trying man I listen yeah but like like we say like I said in the last episode trying is all, often associated with failure right. So let me tell you something with me. It's not that I'm necessarily like cursing people out and um, it's a bad habit in more ways than one is what I'm getting to. Sometimes for me, I use it because it fits so well in the description of me making an impact. And what I'm saying, like, 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 like when somebody be like, let's fucking go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like that, raw emotion energy when somebody say let's fucking go you don't have to say let's fucking go but it just feels great putting that word right there but you still cussing you know what i'm saying yeah i mean you could say let's go i mean let's go still sounds good but it's just that when you put that fucking in there let's fucking go (laughs) or or something happened you like that's what i'm talking about or what's the fuck I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just- It, did, it, it builds just, you up for that. It builds you up for that little flex you put on. So I it think builds you up for that. what the <laughs> biggest thing for me personally is I'm addicted to that. That feeling that comes with being excited and using it in an expressive way for excitement. 
I feel mm. like I could not cuss people out, right? But when I'm excited or want to drive excitement in, a, in that expressive way, I have found it in the past, because I'm working on it now. <laughs> I have found it in the past to be difficult to not use those expressives in that way. And so I remember I used to be bad with names and I used to always say, man, I'm, I'm bad with people names, but it wasn't until I started saying, I'm working on being better with people names that I actually got better with people names. And now I'm better with people. I had to because what I do for a living, I couldn't keep not remembering people names. It was crazy. So you know what? That's um, good. Cause I can't remember. I'm working on remembering nope. people now. Speaking into existence. <laughs> speaking into existence. Because that's what I had to do. I had to stop myself from saying, man, I can't remember nobody. Now I had to stop saying that because I was what I was speaking was real. When I was saying I can't remember nobody's name, I was telling myself and and I carried out the action. My mind followed the order. Your mind will always follow the order. So I'm working on not using those expressives in those areas where I normally are where I have in the past. I'm working on that right now so that I don't curse. I like, did, I did, I did cool today. Let me tell you, man, I was on a run today. I was on a run today and um uh was, by run, real, he talking about he he was a doing truck, he was a truck run. run. Truck yeah. Run. Yeah. No, I'm talking about man, we were we was in the car, police was chasing us. <laughs> I was looking like OJ. No, but I was I was doing my truck run today. And um it was a real big refrigerator I was delivering. And I knew that this man, um, refrigerator, it was like a freezer, but it was the same size as my truck with wise. Um and I said to this man, I said, man, be before I even left the, the loading dock, I called Buddy on the phone and said, hey, man, do you have a forklift? He said, no. I said, okay, okay. Do you have a loading dock? He said, no, no, no. I have a, uh, he says, I have a ramp. I said, oh, okay. Well, um, you know, this is pretty big and I don't know how we're going to get it down. He said, oh, okay, okay, just come on. I said, okay, okay, I'll see you when I get there. I pull up to him, and he comes out, and I'm like, yeah, so uh, you see this? And he's like, yeah, let's get it on the ground. I'm like, yeah, how? You don't got no forklift? He's like, no. You don't got no dock? No. You want me to pull it to the... He said, you can come around the front. I said, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And what are we going to do? He said, uh, well, then we can, you know, let it down and maybe push it off of, push it off of the, the, the pallet. I said, uh, nope, that's not what we're going to do. So he's getting mad at me. Well, why do you deliver it if you're not going to, uh, if you know we can't get it down? I said, hey, mind you, my attitude was going to kick in. I said, hey, listen, I called you before I came here to you, buddy. You told me just to come on. Now that we're here, you want to get upset. I said, I tell you what, hop up here for me. He hops up in the truck. I said, go ahead and move it for me. Tough guy. He went to the to the refrigerator and he went to go push it. Push the refrigerator, pushed him back. He said, Oh hell no. Nah. And hop back off the truck. I said, exactly, mother. Because that's what I thought. <laughs> Point being, <laughs> I can't stop cursing. <laughs> Fuck that shit. You, you can't get this goddamn truck right. I'm just playing. Get <laughs> your ass off my goddamn truck. Man, this shit heavy. <laughs> hey, whole point being, I ain't stop cussing. I'm trying. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But some of you motherfuckers need the words. Now. <laughs> you know. I, yeah, so I was just also pointing out that there's two different, like, cursing is cursing. And it's not polite in any manner, but there are sometimes it is. You could, you could you could be cussing somebody out, or you could be telling a joke. You know what I'm saying? Or you or could you could be just be hyping, like shit, you the shit. Oh yeah, that's, or you could be. That's what I'm saying. I was about to say, or you could be hyping somebody up, or hyping up a situation, or complimenting something. But it still don't mean that it's 
the best way to express it. You know what I mean? So um, it's definitely a habit that I think where we grew up plays a big part in that, like most things. Um, and um, yeah, you know, that's, that's one of those things that I, hey, you know, Hey, but as we're talking right now and working through our own bad habits, feel free to work through yours. Because what I can say is I have successfully <laughs> worked through many, countless, I could go down the list of them, which is how I came up with my book and which is how I came up with the best practices that I teach individuals because I'm in the practice of best practices myself. That's where it all came from. It came from me doing it. So I there's there's tons of things that I had that were a bad habit to me that I completely terminated. And I feel that everyone has the ability to do that if they're willing to put the work in. Now, there's some things that people may not be really willing to work on at that time. You've said this plenty of times, Casey, that you get to you 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 receive it when you're ready at your time. Mm -hmm. And you and you, right now you may not be ready to receive letting go of cussing. But there are other areas that you might thrive on just like anyone else. So I I would I would like to put a button on this by saying, hey, while we're discussing what we're going to work on on our next 30 days of challenging bad habits, how about you guys do the same? Figure out what you're what you're going to challenge for the next 30 days. Pick one. Don't, let, don't go all over the place. Pick one and really put your greatest absolute effort, strive with your greatest absolute effort until you succeed and you terminate that so there's no chance of going back. And be realistic with something that you're really ready to, that you can handle. Do something you can handle first. Be successful there. So sometimes people, I know you got something, Casey, don't forget mm -hmm. your thoughts. Yeah. Um, sometimes people have these aspirations, but sometimes they go too big, and when they don't reach that, they just say, oh, forget it. I was about to cuss right there, by the way, and I didn't. I was putting it into practice. They say, oh, <laughs> <You're fried. laughs> they say, oh, appreciate you. They say, oh, forget it. You know what I mean? But what would be a better practice is to start with something that you be honest, that you're really ready to make a change with. Start small because it ain't small. It's big because once you're successful with it and you terminate that, that's big. That's a mm -hmm. milestone. And now you can see be successful at best practices and continue to to move forward and you'll be equipped to handle one thing at a time you'll know what it's like you know what i mean like i know what it's like so yeah what i was gonna say is so we're gonna wrap it up what i was gonna say is this if y'all like what y'all seeing man y'all like what we doing y'all like the messages that we giving y'all man like and subscribe can y'all see my finger it should be right there. <laughs> like, subscribe, man. Share us on Facebook. Share us on your Instagram. Spread us out to your friends, man. We grow with y'all. We we only can do with y'all. We, we only gonna grow as big as y'all let us grow, right? So if y'all like us, if y'all like it, we love it. If y'all love it, we like it, right? Or whatever, man. Just share us, man. Share us. Because we need Please it. Do. We trying to grow. We trying to grow. We trying to be bigger than it is what it is. And ESPN and Look, man, independent, out the mud, out the gutter, train the brain, self-invested. Look, man, this is what we do, man. We're going to teach you how to grow you. We're going to bring out the best version of you. We're going to say it so much. And if y'all notice, every video y'all like, what's one of the things or two of the things y'all always hear? Put your best practices and build yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Look, man, y'all like it, man. Subscribe, hit like, and leave them comments. Leave a comment because we be reading them. We we, we, we we appreciate those. We appreciate the comments. Uh, we need the likes. We need the subscribers. Thank you to everyone who has liked and subscribed. Thank you to anyone who's ever shared the video. Every single one of those count. Don't feel like yours doesn't count. We 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 appreciate it. Uh, and so thank you. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and comment. Let us know. You know what I we mean. Love so we love the comments, build. man. The comments yeah. is dope. Cause that means y'all interacting with us. And, and eventually we're gonna going live. live. Yeah, yeah sure. we finna go live, man. Live with K and P, man. When, when we yeah. do that, man, y'all, we're gonna be looking for y'all to come on there real big, man. Real yeah. big, man, in a major way, right? We're gonna wanna yeah. hear it. 
We're going to want to feel it. Let us interact with y'all. Let us mingle, man. Because, look, we giving y'all not fake Authenticity. game. Authenticity. We yeah, we giving y'all what we already done been through, man. I don't even can tell you what I've been through and tell you how I can deal with it. The same with Pete. So when we start talking to y'all, man, we're not talking as we trying to preach to you. we just trying to get some OGs giving you some game. You know what I'm saying, man? This is how I handled it. You might not have been through the situation. Maybe you have and Maybe you got a, you know what I'm saying, a spin on it that, that you did a little different that may benefit somebody. Man, put it in the comment, you know, because guess what? We're not bigger than nobody, man. We, we, we same as y'all, man. We just been through a little bit of this and a little bit of that. You probably been through a little bit of this and a little bit of that. So, you know, like, subscribe. And which is which is a blessing in itself. Being a being being able to withstand and go through a little bit of this and a little bit of that to be at a point to where you can speak on it is a blessing in itself. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna speak on it. Hey, look, man, we already manifested this. Look, man, we are motivational speaking to y'all. This been my this been my goal. And look, he came with it, man. Man, we need to get on, bro. This P right here. Hey, man, when we gonna get on, man? You ready? Man, I'm ready, bro. Running. And this is what we giving y'all, man. We speaking straight knowledge to you, man. So, man, don't turn down nothing but your collars and turn the volume up, man. Indeed. So, no cap. No cap.